Welcome back to You Learn Tutorials. One of the most common retouching mistakes is to completely remove the wrinkles from a person's face. Today we're going to be looking at the healing brush tool. To access the healing brush tool, you can go ahead in the in the retouching tools, click and hold until you see the healing brush tool. Or if you want, you can go shift J and cycle through it until you see the brush tool. Wrinkles that appear too dark and noticeable, whether from bad lighting or just a lack of sleep, can detract from an otherwise great portrait. Compared to the spot healing tool and the healing brush tool, the spot healing tool allows Photoshop does all the work for you. You just point and click and away you go. With the healing brush, you need to first select an area of pixels that you want to copy and then decide where to paste them. If you know that my brush size is quite large, so that's 65 pixels, I can click on the control panel, I can go as far as 5,000 pixels as big or one pixel as, as small. I can also charge up the hardness so that as far to the left it's going to be a softer edge and the far right is going to be a harder edge. I can also change the, the size. The left bracket makes it smaller and the right bracket makes it bigger. In Photoshop you have different modes, effect modes to be exact. This determines how the pixels you paint would interact with the pixels you paint over. You have sampled and pattern. You can set a source to repair the area. Pattern are these weird things happening here, which I never use. We also have a line, use legacy, which is old, or sample all layers, current layer, or current and below. If you have a line on, the sample point stays the same relative distance no matter where you paint. I'm going to give yourself an error message. I'm going to go ahead and click. And what it tells me is that I have option click to find a source point to be used to repair the image. What I must do is I must hold down option and click on an area where I want to copy then decide where to paste it. So I'm going to go maybe over here, let go of my mouse and then if you see it I actually have a sample point where, where I can, can go ahead and paste it away. Don't do what something like some people may do. They may have a bigger brush, option click and then drag. What happens is that you may get an unfavorable result, which in theory, you I guess you could have a new face altogether. You could also have a third eye, as we have here. But again, just don't go too crazy when you're retouching here with a healing brush. There's one thing I always forget to do when I use the retouching tools, is that I need to create a new layer. What this does it allows you to go ahead and make changes to the image. For example, just do quickly a couple, a couple of stages here. And it allows me to go back and forth to see what I did from before and after. So I always get in a good habit of doing this in creating a new layer in Photoshop. So again, to do that in a new layer, you can do the one with the icon beside the trash can and create a new layer. You can also use the drop down menu and click on new layer. It'll ask you to name your layer. As well, you can also go to in your layer menu, layer, new, new layer, name your layer, and say OK. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like it or share it. And also tell people about it.